Whoa, after using his phone for several days, including taking pics, writing haikus, and recording hours of video, he still has 12% battery? You'll never catch up to Jason Bourne. He's too good at covering his tracks and hiding any trace of his presence, like hiding his scuba gear in a foot of water before going onto the beach instead of leaving in a plain view. Damn it, Junho. How the hell are you still alive after all these rookie mistakes? Okay, that doesn't seem very safe. Junho. It's me, Chief. Where the hell are you? Can you hear me alright, sir? I'm on a deserted island and infiltrated a secret murder organization. What? But how are you getting cell phone service out there and how do you still have battery after all these days without a charger? I haven't seen or heard from you in days! Hold on, I'll explain it later. You'll explain it later? How about just a little detail before I send in the cavalry? You couldn't have drafted a long text that explains everything during that whole time you were composing useless notes under the covers? Why'd you do that? I go up and push that guy. Once again, Gi Hung is morally outraged by someone dying during their murder games. I'm gonna have to side with Sangwoo in this one. They barely made it out in time, and the dude was frozen in fear. Plus, he would have survived if the glass was tempered. And also, the guy said himself that he was trying to eliminate the other players, so he could have waited till the last second to finish up, so he'd end up winning the whole thing. You still killed someone. His blood's on your hands. Get it together, huh? During a production meeting, they were like, Hey, we need to show that these last players were injured by the glass. How about a cut on the left cheek on one of them? Hey, why not a cut on the left cheek on all three? Damn, look at the size of that thing. Talk about bad luck. All the other glass shards were tiny, but she got stuck with the one piece that's 50 times bigger. And how exactly did this piece stick her in the stomach if she was facing the other way the entire time, unlike Gi Hung, who was facing the exploding glass like a moron? And why wouldn't you pull it out immediately? Wouldn't it be obviously sticking out of your side? I don't know. It's hard to tell since the camera angles conveniently hide it from view. Why do you assume they all want a steak? What if one of them is vegetarian? Or maybe someone wanted some bibimbap or bulgogi? That's it, Junho. Just hide long enough for the files to send and then wait for help to arrive. They'll never find you. You're a ghost and you can disappear for days. After that... My guess is you'll never hear from him again. You kind of blew it by leaving your scuba gear out there, but at least it's a big mountainous island with lots of vegetation, and it'll take them days to pinpoint your location. As long as you stay out of sight- He's over there! Oh, you stupid son of a bitch. I think maybe you guys should clarify to these two that the last game isn't an eating contest. He makes a crucial tactical error, using chopsticks rather than a fork. I wonder if the guards are like dibs on the barely eaten porterhouse. Police! Put down your weapons, you got that? Come and turn yourself in. You'll get a plea bargain with that. Enough, we give up! And besides, you barely get any signal around here. I don't know what you tried to send. How do you know that he tried to send something? He could have explained everything in detail to his chief over the phone, or sent him a detailed text that he prepared in advance. That gun of yours holds five bullets, but per police regulation, one chamber must remain empty, and one must be filled with a blank. That leaves three live rounds. This is mind-blowing if true. The South Korean police carry around a five-shooter revolver, and one chamber must be empty, and another one a blank, so they only have three rounds? Man, all the American criminals watching this are thinking, note to self, book a flight to South Korea for our next crime spree and take over the entire country. Which means that there's only one bullet left in your gun. One bullet left? What, they're not allowed to even bring any extra ammo? Man, I thought we were soft on crime. So many questions here. I don't understand why he shoots him here. First of all, that's your last bullet. Secondly, you could have waited until he got closer to shoot him in the heart if you really wanted to kill him. I gotta say, I thought he'd be a little more surprised. I'm telling mom. Also, why does his brother Inho decide to shoot him here? There's no reason. Junho's out of bullets and trapped. You don't want to take him alive, but decide to off him? Is it because he now knows you're the front man? If so, then why did you take off your mask? Or did you intentionally shoot him in the shoulder so that he'd fall off the cliff and into the water so that he survive? 
If so, that's a pretty risky plan since he could easily have fallen onto some rocks down below or bleed out or drown. In a nutshell, I hate my brother. Also, based on the angle that he fell, I really doubt that he'd fall that far offshore. Well, I guess he's definitely a goner since he was shot in the shoulder and fell in the water and there's no way he's going to pop up in season two. Make this easy. And why is his voice normal now? Have the Korean police ever been quick to act? Is it one of those Batman masks that somehow takes your voice down five octaves? Where were the other drugs going? I never knew that... Wait, what? Do that again. Where were the other drugs going? You know what? That's not bad. I just lost my voice. How does leaving them with knives and encouraging them to shank each other in their sleep more exciting than waiting one day to see them face off in the arena for a spectacular display of Mortal Kombat? It's alright. I didn't come here to kill you. Oh really? Then why you gotta creep up so close like that while I'm passing in and out of consciousness and stand right over me with a knife in your hand? It's not like you don't know how that feels. You're not holding up too well, huh? Then how come you barely touched your food earlier? Because I wanted some bibimbap. We should stick together. We can beat him. Share all that prize money, just run away. Actually, I'm not really sure about this, but is it even possible for them to share the prize money? It's not really clear. I don't think they ever said it's a one winner take all contest. All they said that if you follow the rules, you could leave there safely with the prize money, which by the way, we know is complete horseshit. Well, what if the three of them decide that they want to split it? Or even if the two of them ganged up and killed Songwu, would they let them end it with two winners? It doesn't seem like they'd allow that since they set up the last game as a winner-take-all knife fight. But what if the remaining players refuse to fight each other? Do they split the money, or does no one get the money? And where is your brother staying now? An orphanage. I think you and I should make a deal. I need you to swear that you'll look after him. So you're not going to tell him your brother's name or even the name of the orphanage? Don't do it. That isn't you. You're a good person at heart. Oh, this makes perfect sense. The pickpocket, who kept saying that she was only in it for herself and will do whatever it takes to win, is mortally wounded, and now she's suddenly on her moral high horse and talks Ski Hun out of taking out their last obstacle right after he offered to split half the money with her. Say Biak, please. Hey, what's wrong? What happened? When? When did you get hurt? I'll go get someone. Okay? Oh, yes. Good idea, Ki Hun. Go get help. They've always been so responsive when someone in there has been injured because they're so committed to the safety and well being of all the players. Could he not see this coming? He could have yelled at the cameras instead of leaving her unprotected. Not that they were going to do anything. Uh, why are you turning your back on Sangwoo, who's standing there with a knife in his hand? We've clearly established that homicide is allowed at any time, like, for example, 30 seconds ago. If he's such an SNU genius, why didn't he just end it right there and then by stabbing him in the back? In fact, ki could have ended it right there by shanking Sangwoo in the back. And why are they stopping them from fighting now? They put them in a room together overnight with knives and allow Sangwoo to take out Sebyok, but now they're deciding no violence? I really wish they'd post an official rule book on their website or something. You know why? I feel like I ought to feel guilty. Yeah, you should feel guilty. Because you killed him. That's right, I did. I killed him. 